Guys, in this video, we are going to discuss about the problems based on rice time, peak time, the peak overshoot, setting time, and all those. Okay, even the output response C of T. So we are going to calculate all that stuff in this video. Now, the question here is: a second-order system is given as C of s by R of s transfer function. Is equal, is equal to 25 by s square plus 6s plus 25. We have to find the rise time, peak time, peak overshoot, 25. Settling time if subject to two unit step input. We have to give unit step input. Also calculate expression for its output response that is C of t. Okay. So we'll start with this C of s by R of s. From that what we'll get. See when we compare the standard form of C of s by R of s for second order it is nothing but omega n square by s square plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n square. Okay. This is a standard form. When we compare this with this we get this to know what is omega n square omega n square is nothing but 25 omega n square is nothing but 25 25 right and one more thing it is not necessary that always they will give you this omega n square it is not this both will be same it is not necessary this both will be same this omega n square this both omega n square but one thing you should remember that the catastrophic equation which is nothing but the denominator it always reflects this one that means it, you can always compare with the denominator this one this that omega n square will reflect as this and uh, here from this you can get the value of zeta it is equal to this part you can compare the denominator that is nothing but catastrophic equation it is equal to denominator basically means the catastrophic equation here you can compare basically s square to zeta omega n s plus omega n square with what omega n s with the denominator of the question n square okay with what with the denominator of that's the thing Okay. Now, when you compare, you get to know that omega n square is nothing but 25. Now, compare, what about you get to know 2 zeta omega, omega n? 25. What about uh, which is equal to what? 6. Omega n. Or you can write s here, s or here. S's get cancelled. That is nothing but 6. Okay. Or you can write s here, s here. Now, from this, we can get the value of C. Omega n square is equal to 25. What's the meaning now, of that? Omega n value will be square root of 25, which is equal to 5. So, omega n value is equal to what? 5. Now, I can write here 2 zeta omega n is equal to 6. From this, 2 zeta omega n value is 5 is equal to 6. So, zeta value will be equal to 6 by. So zeta value 2 into 5 is what? 10. So which is equal to 0.6. So zeta value we got it as what? 0.6. Omega n value we got and zeta value we got. Next step is that go for theta. Theta is nothing but tan inverse of theta. Under root of 1 minus zeta square by zeta. Under okay. root of one, 1 minus, minus zeta tan inverse of under root of 1 minus zeta square. Okay. Now zeta value minus we know how to substitute tan directly of substitution of one tan inverse square. of no zeta value we know how to substitute 1 minus 0.6 square divided by 1 minus 0.6 square. Okay. Divided by you can put it in the calculator and find out this will be you will get it get it in what not degrees okay theta will be in radians. This will be so that is equal to 0 0.9272 radians. Okay. Next thing, so that is equal to zero as we have to find out rise time, peak time. See, why are we doing? Why are we finding out all these terms? Because this peak time, rise time, everything, all the formulas contains these values like theta, zeta, omega. So the very basic requirement to find out the peak time, all these transient specifications, that is, is omega, and you have to find out then zeta from the given problem c of s by r of s after that theta value you have to find out now after getting theta value you can find out omega d omega d is nothing but what formula we have omega n into 1 minus zeta square so what is omega n that is 5 into 1 minus zeta square that is 0.6 square so when you substitute all the value uh, when you simplify this you will get the answer as 4 radian per second okay frequency right so uh, omega d will be 4 radian per second we got omega d now we'll go for rise time now rise time as we know what is the formula for that denoted by t capital t small r okay rise time which is given by pi minus theta 
by omega d now i'll write the values all these values so theta value we got it as 0 0.9272 radians omega d value we got it as 4 radian per second omega n from the question itself we got 5 zeta value we got 0 0.6 okay now pi minus so pi minus theta value is what 0 0.9272 divided by omega d value we got 4 so when you put it in the calculator you will get it as 0 0.5335 okay seconds raise time time all the uh, time specification will be in seconds okay now next we will go for peak time t v so which is given by pi by omega d okay so pi by omega d value is 4 so when you calculate you will get it as 0 0.785 seconds next peak overshoot it is denoted by what mp will calculate it in percentage so that is equal to e power minus pi zeta by 1 minus zeta square into 100 percentage that's why into 100 okay so which is equal to what you have to substitute all the values e power minus pi zeta value is 0 0.6 to so 0.6 divided by 1 minus zeta square that is 0 0.6 square into 100 so you can put it in calculator e power this whole value so into 100 when you do you will get the answer as 9.48 percent okay this will be in percent this is peak overshoot now we calculated peak time rise time peak overshoot next we will go for settling time now settling time the same thing ts settling time the formula is given by 4 by zeta omega n this is 4 plus or minus 2 tolerance okay we will calculate for that now 4 by zeta value is 0.6 into omega n value is what 5 okay so 4 by 0 0.6 into 5 i will get the value as 1.33 seconds okay all these values in seconds now next the last and final thing we have to calculate if subjected to unit separate input also calculate the output response that means you have to calculate what c of t you have to calculate c of t now what is the formula for c of t it is given by 1 minus e power minus zeta omega n t by under root of 1 minus zeta square into sin omega d t plus theta okay so you have to substitute what all values give what we got zeta value omega n value um then all the things we got t will be uh, remaining will remain as it is okay so 1 minus e power minus what is zeta value that is nothing but 0 0.6 so 0 0.6 uh, and omega n it is 5 into t all thing divided by 1 minus 0 0.6 square okay now into sin omega dt omega d value we got it as 4 radian per second so 4 into t see omega dt plus theta theta value is 0 0.9 oh, how much we got 9272 okay 9272 so uh, further we can simplify right so it will be equal to 1 minus e power 0 0.6 into 5 i'll get it as what 3 so minus 3t divided by this uh, how much it will be 1 minus 0 0.6 square so this will be 0 0.8 into then sine 40 plus 0 0.9272 okay this point is you can bring it to uh, the numerator part so 1 by 0.8 is approximately 1.25 so you can just check the calculation part 1.25 e power minus 3t sine omega dt sorry omega not omega 4t plus 0 0.9272 so this will be the final c of t okay so you can just verify it uh, this calculation part and all so this will be the final answer so we have found out all the things peak time race time uh, peak overshoot resettling time and output response